Hello everyone. Hello everyone. Welcome to Home Ministry Sunday Worship Service. I miss you so much. Everybody doing good? And are you ready to worship? Ready to worship? Let's go. Let's go. Home to worship. Hello, believe in Jesus. God is with us. Jesus is in my heart. Apostles' Creed I believe that God made the heaven and the earth. I believe that Jesus died on the cross for my sins. And Jesus rose again. Three days later, I believe that the Holy Spirit will always help me. Jesus is my Savior. I love God. I am a Christian. Offering and Prayer Step 1. You will need an envelope and a pen. Step 2. Write your name on the envelope. And write the word hope. H-O-P-E Step 3. Turn to the back and open the envelope. Step 4. Place your offering in the envelope and close it. Step 5. Use your two hands and place the offering to the plate.
Let's pray. Quiet feet, quiet hands, and quiet voice. Dear God, thank you for giving us a wonderful day. I can give you a offering for you. I'm so happy. I want to give you more and more this year. Please use this offering for your glory. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Ehud and King Eglon, Judges 3, verse 12 to 30. You may think there is not much good to say about war, but the book of Judges, chapter 3, explains that out of something that is so awful, there can be a positive side. The people of Israel had sunk into many sinful ways. So God allowed different nations to invade, rob, and rule over them as a punishment. But at the same time, God still loved the people of Israel and raised up different warriors and leaders known as judges to lead the nation back to him. One of these warriors was a man called Ehud. The Moabites had been oppressing the Israelites for 18 long years when Ehud came on the scene. The Bible says Ehud was raised up to be a deliverer. He was from the tribe of Benjamin and stood out from the crowd as he was left-handed. One day, Ehud devised a plan mm. to help his people be delivered from the cruel Moabites. So he set off with the tribute gifts demanded each year by Eglon, the king of the Moabites. The king had feasted so much, he was very overweight. As Ehud was left-handed, he wore his double-edged sword on the right-hand side so he could draw it quickly. Before he met the king, he hid the sword under his garments so no one would see it. Ehud arranged to see the king out in the open by some queries. King Eglon was suspicious, but he saw no sign of a sword on Ehud's left side. So he was happy to come closer. Ehud revealed the tribute gifts for the king, who was delighted <laughs> to see the treasures. The king thanked Ehud for the tribute and was about to depart when Ehud called him. I have a secret message for you, said Ehud. Hmm, meet me at my summer palace, King Eglon replied. Ehud walked into the king's summer palace on his own. The king was in his own private room. Everyone, leave the room, the king commanded. The door was closed, leaving just Ehud and King Eglon to share the secret. Suddenly, Ehud pulled the sword out from his right side. I have a message for you. He announced. A message from God. Before Eglon could summon help, Ehud stabbed the sword into the king. The wicked king dropped to the floor. Ehud went to the doors and locked them from outside. Then he made his escape. Today my sermon is that Ehud is successful. American Sign Language again. Ehud is successful. Please open your Bible book. Today our Bible verse is that Judges chapter 3 verse 30. That day Moab was made subject to Israel and the land had peace for 80 years. Amen. Do you think a small stone is useful for everything? One person said that it is not useful and throw it away. However, a small stone is always useful. You can use a lot 
of small stones and build a beautiful house. Here is Ehud. This is Ehud. He cannot use his left arm, so a lot of people thought he was no use. But God used Ehud to save Israel. God used Ehud as a worker of God. Eglon, the king of Moab, was in a power of Israel for 18 years and gave the people of Israel a hard time. The people of Israel need to give me a lot of presents. Ha ha ha! I cannot live under King Eglon. The people of Israel reached out to God for help. God, please forgive us and help us. God listened to prayers to Israelites and sent Ehud, who will save them. But Ehud could not use his right hands. I am Ehud. I cannot use my right hand. One day, Ehud took a lot of gifts to King Eglon of Moab. At that time, Ehud decided to kill Eglon with a knife. Many people will think that I cannot kill Eglon. When Ehud got to King Eglon and he told to Eglon to meet him alone to have a private conversation. King Eglon, I have something to tell you in private. Let us talk in private. Guards, please leave us. Yes, King Eglon. King Eglon thought Ehud cannot do anything because he cannot use right hand. However, Ehud used the hidden knife and killed King Eglon. King Eglon, you are a very bad king. I made a mistake. Oh! Who did the people Israel pray to help? God or King Eglon? Which one? I will give a three second. One, two, three. Please make the right choice. Yes, right. That's right. It was God. Who do you pray for help at all times? That's right. We pray to Jesus. We say, Jesus, please help me. How should we think about our weakness? We should not be ashamed and believe that God will use our weakness. Ehud is successful. We say it again. Ehud is successful. Let's pray. Quiet feet. Quiet hands and quiet voice. Dear God, thank you for giving us a wonderful day. Today is 2024 New First Worship. We learn about Ehud. Ehud cannot use right hands. He cannot use right hands, but he is killing the Moab king. So, if you want to use me, I can do everything with you. So, we are so courageous and we are so happy. God always watching us and using us. Thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. <laughs> Our Father in heaven, hallowed by your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. 
And do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Thank you for worshiping with me. Stay healthy and stay happy in His grace. Are you happy? Happy? Yes. All done. See you next week. Before